Hey, I am back with another prophetic dream and word from the Lord, and I'm so excited about it. Um, I had the dream this morning, and God's been unpacking it all day long, and so I've been super anxious and like just I had so much energy, I just was very ready to record this video, but I had to wait. <laughs> so here I am now, and um, I am going to just open up with prayer and then get into the dream and then what I feel like the Lord is saying. Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for this opportunity to share from your heart, God. And I pray that it blesses those that hear as it's blessed me mightily, Lord, and that your anointing be on it and to speak to those and breathe life into their, their promises, God. And um, I thank you that this is a confirmation and a preparation um, to be sent out, Father. So I just thank you so much that you're in all of this and you help me to say exactly what you want me to say. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> okay, so I had the dream this morning and if you can hear my kids screaming in the background, I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, so in, in this dream, there was a man who was running for public office and he needed 37 votes to win the seat and he had two opponents and um, as he is kind of getting prepared to sort of do that get in the race I guess um, he goes to the prison um, the local prison and there is a security guard who he meets at the front and he says I want to um, get the prisoners to vote for me and the security guard was so happy. So they were, he, she was like, it was a female and she was like, man, this is such great news because I feel like all these people here are so forgotten, you know? And so they worked together to prepare the prisoners to vote and like get them set up and registered and all that. And in the same space, the, the same front office, while they're sort of working on those details, a woman walks in <clears throat> And she looks, honestly, she looks um, very run down, like she's had a hard life. I would venture to say she looked maybe like a prostitute. And she walked in and she asked the security guard, who do I vote for? And the security guard was like, well, it's very funny that you're here because this guy is here, you should vote for him and have him talk to you. So the man asked the, the prostitute woman, um, do you believe in God? And she said, well, no, but I heard a voice inside me say, I love you. So whatever that means, I'm here, you know? So, um, so then he began to sort of help her out and talk to her. And then um, she voted for him. And the man ended up winning. He only needed 37 votes, but he ended up winning by 1,700 votes. <laughs> so a huge landslide. <laughs> And so as I woke up, God was like, immediately, I knew this was a message for today and very timely for a lot of us. So I will say who I think this is, this is for. People uh, in the dream represent different, different categories of people. Um, and so um, I believe that the man represents the righteous remnant of God. This is people who, um, You've followed his voice, you've stayed close to him, you've not given up on your call and your promise, even when, you know, all hell broke loose in your life or, you know, things didn't turn out as you thought it would. You've stayed close to God and you've followed him all the way and you're still doing that. But now it's time to be promoted. Um, your time of testing and wilderness and growth and cleansing, all of that is completed now. And now it's time to be in your new position. So exciting. Um, so I believe, um, okay, so I believe like God is entrusting a group of people to us as we are being sent out. And the man, the, he was an older man who was running for office who represents the remnant. And um, he looked very humble, like his his outfits were very casual. I think he had on like some Jesus sandals, like. <laughs> and um, and I I thought thought about this throughout the day that this represents the inner character. It's 
people who have been humbled. They have humbled themselves before God. And you know, when you're humbled, you're, um, you are elevated. You are exalted by God himself. Um, you don't have to do anything. He just, you know, makes it happen. And um, also his age, he was older. So I felt like it represented wisdom, that you've grown in wisdom and maturity and humility in this time. And so now that's why you're being promoted is because um, God is honoring his promises that he has not forgotten for you. So, um, so yeah, so him going to the prison system, I thought was very interesting as being like a, it was a strategic plan from God. Like he was given a, a strategy that was sort of unusual. Um, and because of that means that's how he won. And that, but that was, totally God. God is saying, if you will follow me and get the strategies you need and follow those things, he's going to initiate the, the promotion and the movement um, of your promises taking place. So um, the security guard represents someone who is in authority over people, who is visible possibly in some sort of leadership role already, who is going to trust that this is God and give you a hand, a helping hand to help pull you up because the, the security guard was like, great, I'm so glad you're here. Like these people are really important to the security guard. And so she wanted, um, she's so thrilled that someone is, is coming in to, to bless the people. And um, so she helped him get the votes that he needed. So there is a, a significant person and relationship that is going to be helping you in this time um, to get you where you need to be. And this person has authority and, and is has the power to make things happen basically in your life. So this was probably just the most beautiful thing. <laughs> um, in Isaiah 61, you know, if you're in political office, this was representing to me a servant. A, a politician is a servant to the people. So, and you're a servant to the people who voted for you. So the people who were voting for you are in prison. They are saying, yes, we want you to help us. And so that is who we're getting sent out for. Like, yes, this is a blessing to us in our life. Um, as individuals who have had promises from God and are waiting for those promises to take place. But this is also very important to a great many people who are in darkness, who need what you have, what you've learned with God. And so I want to read Isaiah 61, 1 through 3, and I believe that this is the commissioning moment. Um, the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to, pro to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness the prisoners. This is so significant. Um, and I'm saying, I feel like God was saying, like, don't forget this. Like, this is why you're going. This is why you're being promoted, is because these people out out in the world and i mean they were they were the downtrodden the the forgotten human beings in the world basically but god sees them and god is entrusting them to you to help them pull them out of darkness and just praise the lord for that it's just so beautiful um so i also want to say the numbers were very interesting to me like so he only needed 37 votes to win and so I thought, I had been reading Isaiah 37 like a couple days ago, and there was a scripture that stood out to me. And so I'll read verse 31, and this is what I believe is important. Once more, a remnant of the house of Judah will take root below and bear fruit above. For out of Jerusalem will come a remnant, and out of Mount Zion a band of survivors. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this whoa like whoa there's just so much and and forgive me if i'm just like just beaming because i've just had such a crazy day with god as he's been just like revealing and um so much about what this dream is so bearing fruit 
so the remnant you took root below and and i believe that has like a spiritual connotation but also like in the natural like you've been hidden by god you've been hidden with him until this moment you are here for a very important time and an important reason and you're being uh you're bearing fruit above so you're you're being elevated right now and this is a moment of transition from from being hidden to being seen and then also just what we've done in, in rooting ourselves in God has spiritual impact for eternity. Um, the fruit is bared, you bear fruit in the heavens. Um, and this, this remnant, God has been just speaking to me and a lot of people about this remnant, this group of people who just are, you are just focused on God. You're not looking to the right or the left. You're looking at him. You're focusing on the call of God. You're allowing him to heal your heart, to mend the broken places inside you, and to to bring freedom to you. And so now that you've been through that process, it's time to pour it out. And the zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. This is only God. And, and you all are going to have a testimony for this. Like, I guarantee it. Like, it's going to be miraculous because only God can do what he's about to do in your life. And it feels so soon. Like, so, yeah, I mean, take this all before God because you will have to do your own prayer time and seeking him if you feel like this is for you. Um, but it feels like it's it's now. It's any day now like i keep looking over my shoulder like what's about to happen <laughs> um so yeah let me go over my notes here a little um the woman who was coming in obviously represents you know someone who is just broken hearted who's been through a lot and the love of god coming from you is going to draw a group of people like this like they're they're being drawn by god's love um, and his his grace and his just his power obviously but um, sorry my phone did something um, but the love of God is going to be so intense and powerful I believe as it's poured out through you that it's going to draw people and they're going to get behind what you're doing and they're going to receive from you too and live their own abundant life because you honored God in your processes and in in you're going to honor god as you're going out as well um and then so 1700 was the victory landslide that that the remnant gets in this hour and 17 represents complete victory <laughs> so it i just felt like victory was such a perfect um a perfect way to explain winning an election and that was the number that we won by basically or the remnant or this man you know in the dream won by and so 1700 is just that multiplied over and over again so it's extremely powerful and it's it's the zeal of the Lord his zeal his zealousness for what he's wanting to accomplish through you is going to um, get you to where you need to be and in front of the right people to where you need to go and he will accomplish this in his power and so you know pray for strategies if he has something for you to do um if he doesn't have anything then it's going to happen just in his might i mean there's just different who, the the why is what's important for us. The how this happens is really up to God. But the why is for these people, for the prisoners, for the people in darkness, for the people who are craving the, the a relationship with Jesus. So um, we have to just focus on that. But if he has something for you to do in this moment, I would just start praying and asking you know what's what's a strategy for me um that you're you're wanting me to do you know he may lead you to do message somebody or not or i you know it just it varies it's up to god you know and your specific calling and purpose um so yeah i think that is about it yeah i i think that this is going to be easy i think that you're just just going to walk into 
your new situation. And it's going to be, I believe, a visible one for a great many of you and whatever leadership you know that may be. And I also believe it is political in political arenas. Like this, you're, you feel like a regular person, but to God, you're, you're so mighty in him and he's just not gonna let those giftings go to waste and he's gonna put you in places to lead and protect people. Um, so I just hope you are as blessed by this dream as I am. I'm so excited. Um, it's going to be great and, and get ready to enjoy walking in your promises. Everything he's promised you is, is coming to pass right now. So, um, be blessed by this. Continue to pray and ask God for more confirmation, whatever you feel like you need to do. And, um, thank you guys so much for, uh, subscribing and listening. All right. Take care. God bless.